hi! Welcome back to my channel where I discuss everything American Girl. Today I have a highly requested video, which is going to be our tips and tricks for buying American Girl on eBay and Macari. So if you like my videos, please subscribe, and also I would love to know what you'd like to see next on my channel. So before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge a really great AG tuber named Just Dream Studios for giving me the inspiration behind this video. So I'll link down her video below about her also tips and tricks she has for buying American Girl items and other doll items. What I also like to say is that these tips and tricks are just advice I'd like to pass on to my other fellow doll collectors who happen to be buying things on secondary markets like eBay and Macari. The first tips and tricks I would recommend for other collectors is to always have a list. One of my lists that I have is my ultimate dream list. So within this list, I have dream items I'd like from American Girl that are retired, things that I categorize that are must-have, and things I would like to have in my collection, but I don't necessarily need to have right at the moment. Another list I like to create are a purchase list. And the reason I do this is so it's easier for me to keep up with a weekly or monthly budget for my American Girl items. So obviously my tip number two is gonna to be to create a budget for your American Girl item. So for example, what I like to do on my list is I like to list the prices for not only a product that's used, but also brand new in box, just to see what type of budget I like to keep for an individual item. So for example, when I was purchasing my Kanani doll, I realized to get her new in box, it would be around three to $400. I also realized to get Kanani used, she'd be around $150 to 250 bucks. So I decided if I still wanted to get her new, that maybe I would look for a budget between those two used and buy it brand new in box prices. For my tip number three, I would recommend to know what type of quality you want to buy your American Girl product. So for example, when I was purchasing Josefina's retired accessory set, her Cosina set, I purchased it for around $70 instead of paying over $200 for it new in box. I noticed personally that if I could buy my dolls new in box, I would, but I've also been realizing since collecting more dolls in the recent years that if I can buy truly me dolls, I'd like to buy them used, like my doll here who's my number four, which is Lena. My number four tips and tricks is to establish a watch list on eBay or have a favorite list on Macari. By having a watch list or a favorites list on Macari and eBay, I realize it's easier for me to be able to check on prices of listings that I really enjoy. So it'd be easier for me to compare prices and see when sellers are lowering their price for certain listings on some of my favorite retired items. My tip and trick number five is going to be to read reviews on sellers. So for example, I've noticed that the best reviewers have the best forms of communication when you're asking for questions about your specific item you want to purchase and also have the best return policies. Obviously for my tips and tricks number six is always to check for a return policy. Usually sellers on eBay have a 30 day guarantee return policy or less. For Macari, it's a little different. You have around three days to decide to keep your purchase or return your purchase back to the original seller. Personally, I've been very lucky to have great experiences on Macari and eBay to be able to return items that were either broken or missing certain parts. For example, when I was purchasing Josefina's Nighttime Necessities, I realized that the older version of this set actually came with her little bar of soap and a turquoise set. I realized later that the set that I was purchasing on eBay was actually a later version of a Mattel Nighttime Necessities for Josefina that probably came out in 2007 or 2008, which excluded these two specific little pieces. For my tips and tricks number seven, I'm going to have McKenna here help me explain how it is always best to ask a lot of questions if there is no return policy on the item you plan to purchase on eBay or Mercari. I noticed that a lot of times you could find cheaper prices for certain items if they have no return policy. So this is why I decide to ask a lot of questions about the condition of the item I'm purchasing before I finally go through with a purchase on eBay or Macari. So my eight tips and trick is to always know what your product looks like. The reason why I advise this is because not every seller on eBay and Macari is an American Girl expert. So for example, sometimes I'd see a McKenna doll actually be mistaken for an Elizabeth doll or vice versa. And sometimes I've also seen a Truly Me number 4 be mistaken for an Ivy doll. 
I personally notice that sometimes some sellers might de be a little devious and they will say that their product is new in box when indeed it is not. So for example, when buying this cute McKenna, I used to see some listings of her without her neckties and her leg ties that indicate that she's new in box or missing a hairnet. So my next tips and tricks is going to be something really obvious, which is to make sure your methods of payment are secure. I've heard some horror stories where other collectors have been charged twice for certain items that they were purchasing on eBay or Mercari. Luckily, a lot of these purchases go through PayPal, and normally that's a pretty secure way to make a purchase. I always recommend to double check with your bank statement just to double check again that every purchase looks correct on your credit card or your other forms of payments. My tips and tricks number 10 is to always wait if you're unsure about a particular listing. If you feel like the seller's not describing a certain item to a great accuracy or if you feel like something's up with the listing, I always recommend to wait for another item to come across again because again you just don't know I really believe in instincts when buying certain products that your instincts will tell you if this is a good purchase or not so my last tips and tricks for this video is not to rush into a purchase so I really believe that if you don't have the budget for purchasing a particular item to just wait in the future because there will be another product that comes around again that you will want to purchase instead that might be at a better price for you. So for example, when I was buying my beautiful McKenna, I saw a brand new list price for her for over $300, but I decided to actually wait until later on to purchase her and I was really fortunate to find a great deal for her for around $120 new in box. So since I've been collecting for over 20 years and been buying retired American Girl items on Eva and Macari, I've noticed some of the best times to purchase on these secondary markets is actually during the holidays. I know it's really difficult sometimes because during this time period, you're usually buying things for other, you know, loved ones and things like that. But during the holidays, I've noticed that this is a really great time to buy really hard to find American Girl clothing, accessories, furniture, dolls, and so much more on secondary markets. Okie dokie, so that concludes my tips and tricks for buying American Girl on Eva and Macari. So if you'd like to ask any questions, or if you'd like to share your experience with buying American Girl products on Eva and Macari, let me know down in the comments. So thank you again for watching my video, and we'll see each other very, very soon.